Oh, right. Good morning or good afternoon, depending on where you're watching from. Um. Oh, and the game's crashed. Brilliant. Right. Give me two seconds. For heaven's sake. Why does this happen? Right. Take numero... Oh god, and I've uploaded and I've opened the wrong thing, haven't I? Um 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 What? Right, let's give it another go. Hello and welcome again. And the game's crashed. I blame X Fire. I'm just I'm just turn X Fire off. That program is severely bugged. I just I've given up using that thing. Right. Will it work? Will it work? Yes, we're in. Right, hello, and welcome to the first of many tutorials, vlogs, whatever. You get the picture. So, yeah, um, today's one, which uh, is a pretty on high demand from a lot of viewers. I'm just going to put some lighting on. Um, is actually a strafing tutorial. A lot of people comment and stuff on the uh, how do you move like this? Blah blah blah. Send me your config. All that jazz. For those of you who want my config, you'll probably think what a bag of shit. But I'll, uh, I'll upload it with the video when I post this on YouTube. So yeah, today um, let me just record. So you guys can actually see this. Um. Right. There we go. Uh, yeah. Right. So today I thought I'd uh, do a quick strafing vid, and I'm gonna go back on the fundamentals of strafing to how I actually learned how to do it back when I was about 13, I think. And uh. So yeah, I'm going to change the map to Crash, as I think it has some, actually no, I, I can do it on Strike. Right, strafing, what is a strafe? First of all, for those new to the game or new to how Quake, the Quake engine works and how movement works and stuff like that, a strafe jump is just a simple <coughs> bug in the engine's code which if you do a certain action whilst jumping with both your keyboard and mouse you jump further basically, you jump further and you jump higher which obviously allows you to get to places quicker or get to places which you shouldn't normally be able to I'm going to jump straight in it, I don't want this to be a too long vid the time is currently 3.30 in the morning I've just come back from the cinema, knackered uh, I watched Megamind by the way, awesome film if anything, one of the top movies in 2011. I think it will be. I think it's going to hold its own. But yeah, back to the vid. Um, so how I learned how to strafe, because I was during COD 1, I had no idea how to do it either. I was told that when you jump, say there's two types of strafe. You've got the strafe left, and then you've obviously got the one which I can't do so well, simply because I'm right-handed, is the strafe right. And I can't really do it, because that's awkward. Normally, if I were to strafe right, I'd go to the right and then strafe left. But um, I never actually strafe right. But yeah, how I was taught how to do it is um, when you're in the air, you kind of make a U shape. You make a half, a half circle, a semicircle, depending on where you wanna go. I wish I had like a graphics tablet or something because I could show you with like a pen the certain points. 
when you want to begin your jump, you kind of meet like a point to say, oh, I want to jump from here there, and I want to reach, say, there. And it's never just a straight jump, a strafe jump. It's always your mouse movements have to go from one spot to another. So say, so just for an example, there to around there would be, and it would be started off from that point, and you'd end up on that point. And a, a typical one that people ask me is this. The reason why this is such an influential one is uh, for the A rushes, if you were to strafe this wall and then dive across, you take full damage. Once you take full damage, your sprint resets. So then you could go back on and carry on sprinting and blah blah blah. And it'd be a lot quicker for you to enter the site. So, how this one works. Actually, I'm going to add another thing to this tutorial wall strafing. And that's, I'll, I'll come to that later. But, um,. So yeah, you kind of have to follow the whole U-shape. So say if I were to do this, I would go here, i look down, so say I'd just pick a point. It's not the same every time, so I'd pick, say, the bottom of those stairs, and then I'd kind of curve it all the way to about that car. And I'd do this completely automatically every time. Obviously, I am know what I'm doing. If you slow-mo it, it would be something like that. Not exactly, but it would be the mouse moves from one point to another. And... Um, this is just the mouse movements by the way, there's our other stuff, so say I'll do it again just from there to around wherever just as you jump that movement should occur one spot to the other, obviously if you're left handed you be, it'll, be for, it'll feel more natural for you to go from left to right so it'll be something like, well I have no idea, but you'd have to just probably somewhere along this wall and maybe around there by the window so it'd be and just like that. Pick one point to the other as you jump. That's pretty much the whole mouse movements. The other thing is now the crouch jump aspect. Also in this game if you jump in a certain direction and in, in the air you press, you press your space button and then your crouch key whilst you're jumping you also go further. Simply because you have a lower landing time because your feet are in the air. So you have to kind of combine this with the movement of the mouse. So it would be just run and then look there. Oh, messed it up. One second. I'm not, I don't normally do it this. I'll show you wall strafing afterwards. It would be something like that. Crouch in. As I jump and I do that movement, it's jump, crouch, and look left. I wish I could, I could probably slow mo it down when I do the final vid. But um, yeah. That's literally all it is. Make the whole half curve with your mouse from one point to the other, depending on which way you're going to strafe, whether it's left or right. Of course, the actual jump could be in a straight line, but I mean the the, the mouse movement you choose has to either go from left to right or right to left. Um, but yeah, uh, the last part of the vid I wanted to show was actually uh, wall strafing. Now this, I use it all the time entwined with the actual strafe jump because wall strafing allows you to go faster. For those who didn't know, this is a normal run speed. So if I just run forward like that, this is your casual run speed. It changes, say, if you run along a wall. Basically, you run, but instead of, instead of just holding down forward, you also kind of push yourself up against the wall. So if I could show you right now, I'm pressing both my W and my D key. And I'm walking along. You don't really lose speed at all. You walk, when you're walking, it's kind of the same pace. But you do actually go faster. If I were just to crouch along like this, I'd probably. I'd, if you did the timings, it would be a certain speed. But if you crouched and hugged the wall, I don't know if you can see, but it's a lot faster. So instead of just holding down W to go forward without holding the wall, if you do it now with holding the wall, oh, a sprint, you go quite a lot faster. It's just another bug in the engine's code, but uh, it's been in all of the Quake engines and all the Quake games and it adds a little stuff like that to the game. So, how can you add that to your strafe jump? Well, here's a prime example. You run, sprint, hug the wall, so it would be A and W for those using default COD4 controls. Sprint, hug, oh. sprint, hug the wall, like that, and then as you're sprinting, you move off to back to where we were before. So pick a point. For me, it would be right to left because I'm right-handed. So pick a point there and then curve it to about there. Whilst 
in the air, also pressing space and crouch to get height. <laughs> so, in one smith movement, it would look something like this. And that would get you to about there, and then you could go be on your way. <sighs> of course, it, it can be done further. There are ways of perfecting the strafe jump, and um, I don't really call myself a complete master at it. I sometimes mess up. But, uh, yeah, so I'll give it one more go. And it gets you quite far, far enough to feel the full damage anyway. <sighs> and if you wanted a, if you are like me and you feel only comfortable <sighs> strafing from right to left, and you kind of want to exit that point so you could strafe run that wall into the A site, then instead of coming off from this point and pointing there and there, actually venture off a bit earlier from here to about this to this point and then do that because then you'll land somewhere around there instead of around there and then that gives you a good a good pathway onto that wall so you're kind of giving yourself a good route into the A site so once again it would be you run, you strafe this wall I'd venture off into this corner I wouldn't pick a point, I'd do it automatically but I'm just saying for the purpose of this vid kind of pick a point and then from there, do my half curve, or whatever, my mouse movement, and then also whilst whilst I'm doing it, jump and crouch in the air. So just like that. And then from there, you can kind of land, and then carry on your sprint, run along this wall, and then, of course, <laughs> strafe right into the A site. And this is primarily the, the core behind the A rush. This is the this is the standard A rush. This is all you get the the top guys doing, especially people with good movement. This is all they really work on. So yeah, back to basics. I'll give it a one more run through. You run, you run, you strafe along this wall, come to the point, jump and crouch, pick a point at the same time. Obviously, if you're doing it while sprinting, you land, you kind of crash onto the ground, you take full damage, sprint back off there run along this wall, blah blah blah, and then strafe rightwards onto there, and then do whatever you want to do really. Just a good way to get into the A site. So I'll try and give it one perfect run through. As I said, I'm not doing any takes or anything, this is just a simple whack on the microphone recorder. Um, also, any feedbacks on like just how the game looks, or if my mic's bad quality, or you know that sort of stuff. I do use the worst config known to man, it just looks like shit. So, um, yeah, but uh, I'll try to give this one more final run through as to how I would do it. It'll be something like this. And I'd normally run out of spin about here, and then there you go. So that's that. Yeah, I thought I'd get this tutorial out. A lot of people have been wondering about strafe and they kind of buzz, like, kind of bewildered. A lot of people who come from CSS, which doesn't doesn't have the Quake engine, so it doesn't have stuff like this, little movement perks, because uh, movement is quite a big part of this game actually. I'd even put it past aim on a lot of occasions as being the core attribute in this game. Um, so yeah, I thought I'd post this tutorial up on the channel. I haven't uh, posted much on my channel in a while. I've been doing a lot of uni stuff and that sort of stuff. Uh, but yeah, for those who don't know, I'm back playing with uh, Meet Your Makers. Um, we haven't played in a while after Gamers Jack. For us, Gamers Jack was a pretty interesting land, uh, to say the least. Uh, and yeah, I'm just kind of going to try and get back into the scene. I thought I'd bring this video to you guys as a thanks, if anything, thousand subscribers. It's quite a big achievement. And uh, for someone who isn't really a big media influence on YouTube, uh, I'd like to thank you guys for supporting me and watching this stuff. So yeah, I'll probably upload more vids. I was going to do some demo commentary, but I'm having problems with like my hard drive and all that. I don't know. Technical stuff. But yeah, I'll try and get some more vids up ASAP. And uh, send them over to you guys. So yeah, thanks for watching and uh, stick around.